awesome fans, especially last night and tonight. Thank you very much. Keep coming. I was at work the other day, and a girl said, hey, I saw one of your monster players at this fundraiser I was at for Make-A-Wish. And I go, really, who was it? She goes, I don't know, but he had curly long hair. And I flipped up his picture, and I said, was it him? And she goes, that was him. I go, that's Brian Lurg. He's one of our best. Brian is great. He's so approachable, such a good guy. He, he just takes his time for his fans and everyone in the Monsters community. We love him. Oh, well, he, he, he's always happy, smiling, having a great time, joking around with the rest of the guys. He, he loves doing all kinds of stuff for kids at the, at the practices and stuff. Signing autographs, and because he's great. He's just an awesome guy. Is that too heavy? Here, hold it between your legs. Come over here in the middle. Ready? Want me to help you again? One, two, one, two, three. Oh, there we go. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, look at that. Good job, buddy. Brian Lurg, number 20, uh, left wing. No, it's been interesting. We've gone uh, many different places, schools, hospitals. Uh, we've done Special Olympic stuff, um, all different ages too. It's not just younger kids. And it's just been, you know, a pleasure to give back, see a smile, interact with one another. And, you know, we've had a lot of guys on our team come along as well with us. So it's, uh, we've had a very good uh, outreach in our community this year. You know how to do it? Yeah. What did you play in gym today? Play hockey? What did you do? Running? Brian Lurk always, always given time to talk to you no matter what you want to talk about. That's horrible. How long do you have to wear the cast? I had surgery. Oh, you had surgery? It's nice to see them wanting to give back to the community where they're, you know, they're here in Cleveland. It's nice to see them care about the community and want to give back and, you know, get the name out there. Honestly, I think it's just like seeing the smiles on these kids' faces. Like, I went to Make-A-Wish uh, last week and it was just a little girl in a, you know, wheelchair. You know, it was hard to understand, but she, all she wanted to do was have, get hugs from me. So I just hugged the girl nonstop for an hour. And, you know, it, it just made my whole day. Hearing these things, it makes you want to like tear up a little bit. It's, it's, uh, I'm very fortunate what I've had in my life. So it's, you know, this is the least I could do is, you know, show my face. And, you know, I, I really enjoy doing all this too. It's not something where, you know, people are begging you to do. This is, this is something I've tried to do with every team I've been a part of. And this year, I, you know, I try to take it to the next level and thought, it, you know, it went really well. The main thing is, is just the fact that our team was able to raise over a thousand dollars, which goes for a great cause, and we'll send it to Locks of Love, and they make wigs for unfortunate kids who, you know, don't have a nice head of hair, and we're just there to help out. So you can see some cute little girl running around with my curls now. Yes, one more, one more, oh, come yeah. on. Ready, set, go. All but two. Who's your favorite hockey player? Andrew and me, right? Both of us? All right, good. He's just a great guy. We like him. I think he should be man of the year. Ryan Lurk, man, man of the year. He's got great hair. He's a nice guy. And he likes to give back, and I think he deserves it. Ryan Lurk, thanks for everything you do. Man of the year.